What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It does not apply that it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I appreciate each and every donation. Okay, so um, the channel that I received was um, um, someone that wished seizures on you in the past is about to start experiencing heavy, heavy, heavy seizure-like activity. Um, and someone that um, has been having sex with children is about to find out they have HIV. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates um, in your own life. Um, hopefully it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. Somebody that um, has um, wished seizures on you in the past. So they put negative into the universe, wishing seizures on you. That I don't know why the hell they wish seizures on you. I guess to make you um, dependent on somebody, I'm assuming, or for some kind of medical care. Um, but they I heard they wished, they wished them a long, long, long time. It's about to backfire. Okay, I heard they wished them a long, long, long time. So they wished seizures upon you for a long time. But I heard it's about to backfire. It's about to come back on them energetically, on their body, energetically. Because, you know, black, black magic backfires, either on that person or somebody they're connected to. It sounds like it's about to backfire on them energetically. Um, and they're going to start, I heard it's heavy seizures. So probably like grand ball type seizures is my deductive reasoning and logic on this. Probably like grand ball type seizures, like the heavy, heavy ones. Um, and somebody that's been having sex with children, I heard they're about to find out they have HIV. Um, so that's um, hum humo, uh, mino, well, you know, HIV, you know what I mean. I know how to say it, but ah, just saying. Um, so, but that's sad, that's sad. Uh, uh, if they gave the children HIV, I hope the parents sue the hell out of them. And I'm serious about that. Hope the parents sue the damn hell out of them if they ended up giving the child uh, child HIV. Because I heard they uh, been having sex with children. So they pro I hope to God they didn't get the child HIV. I didn't hear that. Let me see. One of these children is going to end up acquiring HIV. And they will place a lawsuit. Oh my God. Oh, you take it out. Resonates. I heard one of these children and children is going to end up acquiring HIV and the uh, parent or parents is going to end up placing a lawsuit and absolutely freaking lutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, that's terrible. Absolutely. I would absolutely do that in a New York minute. Absolutely. Um, and they should, they should. One, you shouldn't be a pedophile and have sex with kids. And two, you're not even sexually responsible and you're spreading HIV apparently to a child. And now a child, and I heard one of these children is going to end up with HIV and the parent or parents is going to end up placing a lawsuit. And they absolutely should. They absolutely should. You should be more responsible with your health and yourself and children. If anybody needs to hear that. Thoughts upright. Number 16 could be a very significant number. It could be a possible age of a child or a child you're connected to that you care about possibly or the child that is going to end up contracting HIV possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Number 16. It also could be a date of birth number, social security card number, lottery number, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Jersey number, et cetera. Number 16. Once one of these parent, the pa parent of the child, one of the parents of the child finds out they have HIV, they are going to go ballistic. Very emotional, as they should be. Oh my God, you plug it. This is terrible. I heard once uh, one of the one of the parents. So I didn't hear both of the parents. I heard one of the parents of the child finds out they have acquired HIV. They're going to go ballistic, and I heard they should. Absolutely. But this pedophile has been, it sounds like either paying for sex or they've been getting it for free from this child. But it, 
And the child did not consent. They were pent out. Okay, I heard in the child did not consent, they were pimped out. So the child did not consent to the sexual activity, they were pimped out, meaning an adult, they were paid. That I mean, the child was not paid, the adult was paid, is what it sounds like. I heard pimped out by uh, an adult. The child did not receive a dime of this money, not a dime. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay, I heard a child did not receive the dime of this money. So a child, the child did not receive a dime. Their body got used, and they didn't even receive a dime of the money. The adult got it all. Um, this is terrible. This is terrible. So um, this is terrible. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, this is sickening. This is sickening. Somebody needs some mental health um, treatment. They need to be locked up in jail. Um, and think about what the hell they did. It's what they need to do. And I'm serious about that. Spirit messages you have reflected. High on or reverse. Number 25 might be very significant in somebody's life. Number 25, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Um, a possible date of birth number. Uh, lottery number. Jersey number. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Number 25. The payer... The person that paid to have sex with this child is about to be exposed soon. And the person that pimped the child out for free is about to be exposed soon as well. Okay, I heard the person that paid uh, for sex for, for the child, but they paid the adult apparently and the child didn't get a dime, is about to be exposed soon. And the person, the adult that um, took the money for the um the sex for the child and the child didn't get it done is about to be exposed soon. That is abuse and manipulation at its finest, using children. Um, this is sick. This is sick in the head. It really is. So they're not going to get high on her. They're about to be exposed. It's about to go very, very, very public. Very. Okay, I heard it's about to go very, very, very public. Very. So it's about to go very public. And good. It should. It absolutely should. So they're not going to get high on her. I'm feeling jail. I'm feeling prison. I hope to God they go prison. And I'm serious about that. This is sick. This is sick, sick, sick. Um, sick. Several shocking series of shame events is going to occur in this. It's about to turn into a huge, huge, huge thing. Huge. The past is about to be brought up in a huge way. Okay, I heard several shocking series of shame events are going to occur in this. Uh, the past is about to be brought up in a huge way. It's about to turn into a huge thing. So, high on a reverse. Uh, I heard these people are about to go to jail. And they should go to prison. Um, they're pedophiles. And they're not only pedophiles. They're prostitute, pe or not prostitute, but purveyors of prostitution and pedophilia how much more sicker can you get and i'm serious about that um these people have serious mental health disorders and i'm serious about that too all right i love you i'll uh let you go namaste